presidency. We could do this by dissecting the things that he's done and have made headlines and then attempt to comprehend the ramifications. Or we could just list every single action that he's taken because I think perhaps the enormity of that alone is quite remarkable. In his first week as president, Donald Trump signed his first executive order starting the rollback of Obamacare. He took control of the nuclear codes and declared January 20, his inauguration day, the national day of patriotic devotion. His White House spokesman lied in his first press briefing by saying the inauguration sizes were the biggest in history and a senior Trump advisor defended the lies, saying they were alternative facts. He ordered the National Park Service off Twitter after retweeting images comparing Obama's and Trump's inauguration crowds. Trump planted staffers to cheer and applaud at a speech he gave to the CIA. He bypassed anti-nepotism laws to hire his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, as a senior White House advisor. His office confirmed that he would never release his tax records. President Trump withdrew America from the TPP, a multinational economic deal that's been seven years in the making. It's alleged the president allowed his businesses to take money from foreign governments, which this week saw him face a new lawsuit for breaching the Constitution. The president repeated the claims that the election suffered from mass voter fraud, confirming that he would launch an investigation and claiming that three to five million votes were illegitimate. Specifically, he raised concerns about people being registered to vote in two different states. And while there is no evidence to suggest that voter fraud exists in the millions, this week it was revealed his White House spokesman, whom I mentioned earlier, is registered to vote in two states as is the son-in-law that I mentioned. It was also revealed this week his youngest daughter Tiffany, his White House strategist Stephen Bannon, and his Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin are all also registered to vote in two states. And he reinstated a global gag rule which cuts all US funding from international NGOs that offer and counsel women on abortion. The next day, his party passed a bill that permanently bans American women from using federal funds or private health insurance towards abortion services. He vowed to cut funding to violence against women's programs, as well as national arts and humanities, legal services, minority business development programs, public broadcasting, and the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy. Trump's administration removed the Spanish version of the White House website and deleted pages on civil rights, LGBT rights, and climate change. He overturned the ban on two major oil and gas projects. The protesters claimed could contaminate water and destroy sacred land. He ordered a total media blackout on the Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of Agriculture, and Health and Human Services. He also imposed a hiring and regulatory freeze across government agencies, except for the military and some public safety sectors. President Trump drafted orders to temporarily suspend America's refugee intake with an indefinite ban on Syrians. He also announced plans to halve America's asylum program. He drafted plans to suspend new visas for people from Iraq, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Yemen. The president also drafted a plan to open CIA black sites around the world to reintroduce torture as an interrogation technique. President Trump moved to redirect allocated federal funds to start building a $20 billion wall on the southern border. After Mexico again refused to pay for that wall, Trump tweeted a suggestion to the Mexican president that he cancel their upcoming meeting. He did. Trump then flagged a 20% tax on imported Mexican goods in order to recoup the cost of the wall. President Trump announced that he will publish a weekly list of crimes committed by immigrants, and he stripped federal funds from U.S. cities that provide sanctuary for illegal immigrants. He also laid the legal groundwork for mass deportation. And that was week one.